It finally happened, boys! It actually is here in the game. The Escape Artist Bundle featuring the Elias and Caper skins have officially released, and with it comes a little bit of changes, you know, a few things here and there that you might not have been expecting. So with that said, in today's YouTube video, we'll be talking about all the cosmetics, we'll actually be playing a match with them and everything, and then we'll be going ahead and telling you about the quests themselves. Now, regarding the skins, you may notice that they actually did up these, update these, you know, ahead of time. Instead of being introduced in Chapter 4 Season 2, like you can see right above me, it actually says Chapter 4 Season 4, and it's not just the skins that say this, right? If we go through every single one of the sprays, if I go ahead and, like, actually, wait, that's the wrong thing, but if we go ahead and go over here, right, I'll put myself all the way down here, and we go to this spray. You can see that it's Chapter 4 Season 4, Chapter 4 Season 4. They updated every single spray and everything to have the proper season number and all that type of information, which I think is wild, right? Because, like, I was planning to make a video tomorrow, right? I was planning for today's video, actually, to be talking about how these skins are updated. I was like, guys, they're going to be releasing soon. It's going to be crazy. And then Epic Games is like, you know what, buddy? You know what we're going to do? We're just going to release it in the item shop right now. And we're just going to be like, boom! out there you know it's been leaked people know it's coming to the game so let's go ahead and release it in the game so let's go ahead and firstly you know wind down a little bit here and show you my creation of the skins and everything right here we have the caper uh skin ignore the whole entire name this is for a different preset with the mr beast logo right here right we're not really rocking any other sprays we just got the mr beast logo there we got the crowbar we got ourselves the save cracker glider we have down here you know the boogeyman wrap and everything else i should probably actually change this contrail what do we got here you know what? yeah the big score one because it has a lot of money coming out of it but as the hollow back we also have money because you know it's like instead of having to use the mr b skin and everything which i do own what if i just kind of you know rep the merch right what if i just have mr beast merch on and i thought it was a little bit of a nice little joke i could make of the video you know get a nice little combo going here but of course you have a lot of different options to you you're able to change all this type of stuff you have a lot of different sprays you're able to choose from based on any of the ones you actually own you can go ahead and go here you know change the size of everything change the satur saturation change the wear all that goodness but of course there are some different things that are going to be locked behind actually doing some quests as you can see here we have the cap variant the bunny hood variant which i think is one of my favorites we have the cub variant right here which is a little like ears we got the perked variant which is another version of the ears and everything else and then we got the bunny variant which is basically you know the bunny hood just minus the hood part and then of course if we go over to the other skin as well which is right here we got elias and we go ahead and look at those variants i'm going to take the sprays off of this because i don't really care for them right now uh we have you know the cap we got the hooded horns so slightly different but you know still there the cub ones we got ourselves the perked ones and then we also got cowl which is like the hooded horns just you know kind of without the hood so you know it's a decent amount of combinations you're able to do here you're able to of course you know change the color and everything make everything look how you want it to look or you can just kind of you know go very clean and go like an all black uh you know escape artist skin type of theme but I know you might be sitting there and you're like, Fire Monkey, didn't you guys, didn't leakers say that the skins were scrapped? Let me go ahead and tell you what actually happened with these skins. No, they were never confirmed to be scrapped. I know people said they were confirmed, but what happened was a long time ago, if you guys remember, we had a lot of leaks coming out regarding, you know, the Spider-Man Miles Morales collaboration, but it also leaked a lot of upcoming item shops. And we had like a whole entire month of upcoming shops already leaked ahead of time. And because of that, we noticed that in those upcoming shops, there were no mention of these skins at all, right? And they hadn't been updated or anything so people were just assuming based on the fact that it's not mentioned in any shop coming up that it was like oh it's scrapped from the game you know for the next month they have no plans on releasing it so they probably have no plans on releasing it overall however i do think the way people went about saying it being like permanently scrapped not coming to the game is something that you know is a little bit iffy and should have been better elaborated on by saying it has no plans on currently releasing in the item shop or something along those lines but of course you know now they've been updated they're actually in the game and we can use it we can actually hop into a match with this skin equipped and play it like normal. All right, now that we're in game, you might be curious, you know, what are the quests and everything? So let me go ahead and move my webcam once again over to the other side and let's open up the quest menu. Caper and Elias both have their quests right here. And you may notice that unlike when they first got leaked and they were requiring you to spend 5,000 bars, it's been halved, right? So instead of, you know, like 500 bars per stage, it's now only 250 bars per stage for a total of 2,500. Now that is a little bit of an odd glitch where it's kind of like 
showing both options there. I don't know what happened there, but both of the quests require you to spend 2,500 bars, and if you have both of the quests like we do, you'll do them back to back to back. So we're actually going to go ahead and drop over to this area over here where an NPC is. They're one of the ones I haven't discovered yet. We're going to go ahead and talk to them, and we should be able just to complete the challenges like that. I was planning to have 5,000 bars, you know, just saved up for today's video and everything, but of course we have only 4,848, which isn't a worry because you only need 2,500 to max out both of them. Now, of course, if you buy one, do those challenges, then buy a second one, you will still have to spend another 2,500, but it's a little bit of like a benefit for if you buy the bundled version and do them at the same time, because you have to spend half the cost, and if you were to buy one, do them, buy a second one, and do them, or then you would have won the, you know, like challenges and whatever originally released a long time ago. Now that we're here, however, we can go ahead and talk with Beast Mode, and you know what? Let's just buy some, let's buy some shotguns, right? Who doesn't need a shotgun in their life? We're gonna go ahead and buy four of them, but you'll notice right there, 250 bars spent, and actually, I'm gonna put my webcam over here because, you know, it's blocking the quest menu, but we're actually getting tons of quests completed. We have 250 bars spent on that one as well, so that's gonna complete that quest, and you know, we just kinda get to watch a pop-up of, like, a million quests showing up on screen as it continues telling me, oh, you spent this, you spent that, you spent this, you spent that, and we can even go over here, for example, and just start upgrading our weapons. You know, this is actually really cheap. 250 for Legendary? I wonder if they forgot to disable the whole entire cell that was going on for Bargain Bin Week, or if they just plan to keep it that cheap, but either way, I'm completely fine with it. But as you can see, we've already spent 1,500 bars. It's continuing to go upwards, meaning that we've spent more bars than that. I don't know why I'm trying to, like, double pump over here or whatever else with the sharp tooth shotgun. Obviously, that's not working for us, but look, 1,750 bars completed just like that. We're actually going to hit 2,000 here in a moment, so you know it's going to continue going through all the quests and everything. Going to go ahead and keep giving me the pop ups, and we're going to continue getting tons and tons and tons of free rewards. Unless I didn't spend enough. Yep, 2,000 bars spent, so we're almost already done with all of the challenges, and we have hardly really even done much in this match. It does appear like we've only stopped at 2,000, meaning I'm going to have to find like a vending machine or something nearby. Or actually, wait, I can just upgrade my uh, SMG here. So, you know, what? let's go ahead and head back. I know that I missed all those shots. We don't need to talk about it in the comments. Please don't. Uh, but we're going to go up here. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the SMG. See if the prices are really that cheap. Yeah, that's like bargain bin cheap. Okay. And boom, 2,500 bars spent. We have completed both of the actual upgrade challenges or whatever, you know, spin bars. And we've unlocked every variant for the skin. You know, we're able to get all the cosmetics and everything, all the customization we want. Just like that from a single match from having, you know, 2,500 bars just stacked up. Now, then again, you got to admit that I was saving up bars because I knew that the skins were going to be releasing. So it's like, the average person might not just have all of these skins kind of just waiting in their locker, you know, all that type of stuff sitting there for them. But of course, as someone like me who knew about it ahead of time and, you know, just kind of hasn't really planned on spending bars on anything in general unless it was like a challenge, it was nice to actually save up those. Now, this is going to mean that I'm finally going to be out of my weird little phase because back when the skins originally got announced, I was like, okay, you know, the challenges require you to actually spend bars and everything, so I'm just not going to spend bars just in case they release, right? And I was like, watch this, right? If I do spend bars, bars are going to do something on me where they release the skins last minute and it's like hey you spent all your money well guess what we're releasing this now so that you have to actually go through and fully grind through all your challenges and everything else and fully grind up, you know, 5,000 bars once again. So I just kind of never spent money on anything because I was like, I need that money to be there for when the skins release. But now they finally released in the game and I don't have that worry that I've had for like two to three seasons now. And I'll probably just end up throwing my bars at whatever I want, right? I see a random weapon in the NPC store or whatever. I'm like, take my money. See another one take my money, you know, just do all that type of stuff. Now, regarding the actual skin itself, as you can see, you can go ahead and do what I've done here and just do like a kind of like an all black theme, which I think looks very clean and just put like a little logo on the shirt or whatever. You don't have to use up every single spray spot for like a combination if you don't want to, but it is a very nice, you know, set of cosmetics that you're able to use and make some decent combos with. And I don't think that they'll ever do anything like they've done with like, you know, the superhero skins and everything else where they're like, yeah, you know, people are making all black combinations, hiding in whatever they're hiding in and just doing stuff that way because I don't think these skins are really like, you know, that disruptive in that behavior because like if you look at it, right? Of course, you know, I have this like um, shading on or whatever, you know, I got the whole entire like dark theme going on with the outfit and whatnot. If I'm hiding like a corner or whatever, you can still see me and it's like the hood is a slightly different color from the body and you still have like that whole entire like arm piece showing and everything else. So there is still a lot of pieces of your body that does get shown. So I don't think it's going to have any restrictions like that in the future. But of 
course, Epic Games is a little weird with that just type of stuff, you know, at times because, like, with the whole entire, like, Academy Champion skins, you can't do, like, two layers of black on, you know, a specific color option and everything else. So maybe they'll end up changing it, but I highly doubt it just personally based on how the skin looks. I think it's fine without it. With that said, however, yeah, the actual Escape Artist skins have finally released. And, and, you know, I feel like Epic Games did this kind of despite me because I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a video today. You know, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the new skins and everything, how they're being updated and everything to release in the item shop soon. And then Epic Games, the night before I actually even decided to record the video, is just like, hey, Fire Monkey, we're going to go ahead and release those in the item shop. I hope you don't mind, but... uh yeah, you, you can go ahead and make that video now. It was going to get a lot less views than if you would have made it beforehand. But that's just what we're going to do, right? You know, we're just going to casually release this. And they knew these skins were hyped up and, you know, people wanted it for a while because they made an entire blog post specifically for the spray cosmetics. So I think it's funny, you know, that they're finally released and, you know, now it's going to be something that we probably won't hear too much about from time to time. I definitely see a lot of combinations being available to be made with these cosmetics and I'm excited to see what people end up doing. But at least for now you know it's nice to see that one of the most wanted skins in fortnite have officially returned or i guess you know officially released or whatever instead of living up to the name of being you know an escape artist from the most wanted event ironically enough and have actually managed to slide their way into the item shop instead of trying to escape from it so with that said hope champs and champets enjoyed today's youtube video like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it and peace out